everybody, what's going on? It's Klaus, and thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Clash of Clans. We're going to be doing a, an, a guide, I guess, of the Goblin Knife for Town Hall 9. It is a well-known fact that the Goblin Knife is one of the best attacks for getting Dark Elixir as a Town Hall 9 without heroes. That means if you upgrade your queen and you want to get Dark Elixir to put her down again when she wakes up, this is probably the best strategy for you. The best way way to use this strategy is to look for bases like this. The Dark Elixir is primarily in the Dark Elixir storage. So I want you to analyze this base and I want you to start thinking about probably the best way to come at this base to get the Dark Elixir storage. Now you also want to get the Town Hall because if you like your trophy range or whatever, the Goblin Knife is a get in, die, strategy it's not going to three star bases it's probably not even going to two star bases but it is a very good sniping strategy for dark elixir so if you look at this base you can see that the top compartment is actually rather large the uh, second thing I look at besides what is in the compartment, how big it is, and I'm talking about this one, is also two by two blank spaces because giant bombs are detrimental to your goblin knife. So if you look around the base in this section, the only two by two space is right there between that mortar and that archer tower. So what I decided to do was I decided to deploy my giants, which are the step one of your goblin knife. Deploy your giants and start tanking some damage. And we'll go ahead and get that way or that far into the replay there. So because the sweeper is on the outside of the base, the giants are going to go to that. But I like to deploy them in two different groups to uh, keep everything separated and all the splash damage targeting those two groups of giants and then sneak in some wall breakers in between. But since that sweeper is in the way, it actually ended up causing us a, uh, well, it didn't cause us anything luckily, but it would have been a fail with our uh, with our wall breakers. Now notice, we've got our giants in the base. I've set a funnel with 20 separate archers on either side. You're going to call this a goblin funnel because you guys know goblins, they go for resource buildings, mines, collectors, storages, town hall, clan castle, and, and drills. And you want to make sure that your goblins are going to go into the base, not on the outside. So notice, these uh, this drill and this collector on the outside, we are trying to enter from the north side these drills or these drills and collectors are going or mines are going to distract your goblins so you want to make sure you get rid of these outside collectors and mines uh this one's no problem the archers are taking care of it the giants are in and then we obviously need to get rid of these collectors on the outside as well just to make sure that everything stays focused so our giants are in our archers are in i'm deploying a little bit of goblins here and there now, this particular replay did not go according to plan, because if we pause it now, I've got a few goblins in the core, we're clearing up the funnel on the outside, the giants are absorbing the damage, I've jump spelled my troops in, I want to send in my giants in and continue tanking and working on destroying that wizard tower, because wizard towers are terrible for the goblin knife, but check out this clan castle of dragons, guys. I'm down in the gold league, which is where I recommend you do this, gold league or maybe crystal league, where dark elixir is abundant, and you don't expect to run into to a uh, clan castle with a freaking dragon inside of it. So this was something I was, uh, and I was like, oh crap, I'm going to die. So, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of held, I held my head up high and I said, you know what? We're going to keep fighting through this. So I've got my giants tanking still. I'm establishing my funnel. I'll go ahead and play. I've got a clan castle poison spell, which is absolutely key. And uh, the funnel is continuing to be made. I've dropped my king and my queen, but this strategy works fine without the king and the queen. I just figured, you know what? If the queen could take out that dragon, that would be really nice. I had clan castle uh, giants as well, since my other giants have died. I missed the queen ability, which would have destroyed that dragon, and it would have been a much cleaner raid. But check it out. Let me pause it real quick. Now, the goblins are starting to enter the base, but I want you to look at what we've got going on. This collector is pretty far away. I believe we're going to be fine. Um, I've got the jump spell still placed, and this king should actually take care of the collectors on the other side. So our funnel is pretty well established. If we drop our troops far enough in the middle, away from that collector on the outside on the left, then the goblin should go straight at 
either this elixir storage or this elixir storage or even the town hall so the uh dragon will be a problem but fortunately for us the goblins especially if they're level what level is that especially if they're level six they're pretty hardy so um i've deployed look at this see we got a group that was distracted on that collector uh but we got a big group of goblins that are coming in they're working on this elixir storage i've healed them i've raged them and look at this guys they're gonna melt straight through that wall raged huge group of goblins are gonna rage and get through that town hall they take out the town hall the clan castle and the dark elixir before they bite the dust guys and at the end of the day we got 37 percent so again it's not gonna really guarantee you a two star however we got 100 percent of the dark elixir in the face of a dragon and a wizard and a missed and failed archer queen ability so very successful goblin knife now let's watch another replay something that um i, I was i managed to do last night an, an Another pretty awesome base for this because if you look the dark elixir storage is near the outside of the base there's only one wall between the goblins and the dark elixir so that's going to be really nice so if you look at this base design we've got a little bit of dark elixir in the drill over here which is likely what i missed during the attack but we got an arch queen on the outside we can handle her very very easily this replay actually doesn't have heroes for those of you that are concerned that the strategy is not viable without heroes it absolutely absolutely is guys it is amazing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to keep everything distracted but i want to get my giants or my wall breakers to break through this wall right here this compartment so that my goblins can get straight in and take out that dark elixir out of the storage so first things first we're going to kill the archer queen we drop a uh, uh giant to distract i dropped my clan castle to distract as well but that's because i had a valkyrie in the clan castle and the valkyrie itself with a couple of uh of uh, archers are going to take care of that queen so no big deal there we got a group of uh, giants on the outside of the on the right as well because you still have to establish your goblin funnel by taking out your mines and collectors and stuff on the outside uh, we do that with the giants and with the archers as, uh, obviously and then look at this guys just a handful of goblins we've already broken into that wall compartment we've got 53 goblins still remaining and they're going to go in here. I'm going to heal them right now because there are some splash damages bothering us. Jump spell into both the elixir storage and the town hall compartment. We're going to rage those goblins. And look at this amazing parade of goblins, guys. Goblin parade for days as they get in there and they take out that town hall as well as the dark elixir stores. Now, we did miss out on a handful of dark elixir, but that's because I did not prioritize this dark elixir drill over here. But we did get the objective of the town hall and the dark elixir storage. So a beautiful, beautiful attack. I love this strategy. Let me show you guys the details of it now. If I go into my training section, and quick train the goblin knife is a second from the bottom bottom it's 20 archers 20 giants 88 goblins six wall breakers two heal one rage and one jump now this is all variable depends on what you want to do i like having a lot of tanking to allow for a lot of mistakes if it happens uh 20 uh archers just to help out with your goblin funnel but you don't even need the archers technically but i like also using the archers for killing the clan castle if they're flying um and also the six uh, wall breakers I recommend no less than four or five uh, but I use six in case I need to break through more than one set of walls and obviously you do need that jump rage heal combination you don't have to heal them it just depends on the level of the town hall I like to avoid town hall nines with max defenses if I can get away with it uh, but it just kind of depends on you also if you look guys the a uh, cost of the army is 200,000 elixir so if you don't hit elixir storages you could lose elixir but it costs zero dark elixir which means 100 percent profit on your dark elixir grabs so it's an excellent strategy guys i recommend it highly now my heroes are actually asleep from my previous attack the one where i hit this dead base for half a million gold i'll quickly show you that but it was a dead base, so obviously you use your goblin knife a little bit better, a little bit differently. You don't, you're not trying to dive into the core. You're trying to kind of skirt the base on the outside and grab all the loot. So I'll go four times through just to show you guys the grab. But I dropped my giants the same way, and then I kind of trickled my goblins in. And here's the weird part, 
guys. I forgot that I had spells for this raid, so I didn't actually keep my uh, goblins alive. I could have grabbed every single bit of this elixir um, with with this. I remembered at the very end, oh yeah, I've got spells, and it, at that point it was too late. But we did grab almost 100% of the gold, 100% of the dark elixir, and a decent amount of elixir. So that was a, it was a good raid. It was a, it was a decent raid, but you don't find dead bases too much. The goblin knife is particularly, it loves those bases that are, that are like freshly, freshly logged off. The shield just went off and it's got a full juicy dark elixir storage. So without further ado, guys, I have my goblin knife. We're not going to have heroes for, again, those of you that are curious if this works. And also guys, I know that the town hall nine goblins, um, you, you can have level five or level six. The question will be arisen as if this attack is viable with level five goblins. And it absolutely is guys, but obviously they're not going to be as hardy. They're not going to be able to take those shots from the mortars and the wizard towers near as well. They're obviously going to die in the giant bombs more likely. So um, instead of asking the question, can I use this with level five goblins? Why don't you just upgrade your goblins and then save yourself the trouble? Believe me, guys, the level six goblin upgrade is absolutely worth it. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to find myself the perfect base. I will explain it. And um, so this one, this one's a decent base. Actually, this is a wonderful base. Hold up. Hold up, my friends. This is an amazing base. Um, first search. So we do have some uh, dark elixir in the store in the drills on the outside, but we're going to focus primarily on this town hall in the core. So if you look at this base design, there is really only one wall separating the outside and the inside. Now I'm usually pretty, um, uh, I'm, I'm worried a little bit about, uh, bases that have the, t the dark elixir in the core like this, but, um, I, I think we can, I think we can do it. So let's come from the town hall side. I am really worried about these uh these spaces on the on the uh either side of this elixir storage it could very well have our beloved giant bombs so let's just see how it goes here i'm going to deploy all my giants right there just like so i'm also going to drop three wall breakers to break them into this wall compartment there we go so all of our giants are now in um, and I'm really hoping, actually, I've got a golem in the clan castle. Let's go ahead and use him as well. He's going to really help out a lot. And then if we can, uh, break the, if we, oh, no, no, hurry, 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 break them in. Yes. Okay. So we got them in, but it does not look like they're going to go start tanking into the core. So, um, let me go ahead and start removing these, uh, elixir collectors and gold mines. And then I'm going to send in my goblin knife directly at that elixir storage. I'm going to do two finger deployment. It kind of looks like a, a knife, right? And now let's heal. Oh, giant bomb. Hurry. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Rage spell and heal spell. And it looks like our goblins died because I was too slow with my spells, guys. The giant bomb totally trolled us. Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, this is proof. Here, here, here's the thing. So it is a very cheap army. It is a very weak army. It's not a strong army, and it is absolutely failable. You can easily fail with the strategy if you're not absolutely careful. And guys, I called it whenever I said I need to watch out for giant bombs, and there was one right there in that terrible spot that is covered in in death right now. So. Um, I, I guess what I will do is I'm going to just use these these archers to maybe snipe a little bit of loot and then I'm going to have to call it a day. So um, I think it's important to show fails on the channel. This is an excellent example of why the goblin knife is not infallible. There is no strategy that's infallible, which means uh, it can't fail. Um, it is absolutely possible to fail with goblin knife. And I've heard a lot of people, a lot of people. This is real stuff right here. I've had a lot of people say, I hate Goblin Knife because I fail all the time. Well, there you go. You saw it firsthand that it is easy. It is easy to fail with this strategy. But the replays showed you guys that it is an extremely profitable strategy if done correctly. So I'm going to try one more live raid. I've got my troops. I've got 
my heroes this time. So this is, I'm going to use them. I've got them, so I'm going to use them. But um, uh, this is going to show that it's easier to use your goblin knife if you've got your heroes to back you up. But I'm hoping to have a non-fail this time around. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I get a clan castle because always clan castle troops are helpful. And if you look right here, guys, I, I requested uh, giants, valkyries, wizards, golems, and bowlers with a poison spell. So that means any of those troops are very, very helpful. Obviously, your giants and your golems are going to be good tanks tanking damage and helping out your giants um the valkyries and the bowlers are going to be excellent troops for getting into the base and helping clear out the funnel and then obviously your uh your wizard could be very useful for the funnel as well shooting stuff from behind the giants so any of those troops help me out like crazy so um i'm gonna wait for them the troops to pour in i'm gonna find us a good base and fingers crossed we don't fail Loose cannon with the clutch uh, giants, so that means we have the extra tanking ability, which is absolutely awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna accept that with a lot of grace because, hey, free troops, right? I mean, you got to be grateful for that. So here's a town hall eight. It's got 1,200 dark elixir, a very easy goblin knife base, except for that two by two blank space between the wizard tower and the wall. There, kind of scary. Uh, fortunately for this town hall eight. I need more than that much Dark Elixir. So, uh, I usually aim for about 2,000 Dark Elixir just because I see a lot of bases that are good that have at least that much. So, um, I'm going to find a base, 2,000 Dark Elixir minimum, and then you and I are going to talk our way through how to hit that base, and hopefully everything goes according to plan. Alright guys, here is a base with well over 2,000 Dark Elixir. The Town Hall is in the middle, the Dark Elixir is slightly on the outside. There's a lot of blank spaces in between the outside and the, t the Dark Elixir storage. So if we're going to hit this base, we have to be patient and send in some scout uh, goblins. That is what I'm going to call it. I've never called it that before. So, first things first, step one, giants do a little tanking. So we're going to tank some defenses there. Next thing, we're going to break open the wall there. I'm going to drop my king in because he is also an excellent tank. I'm going to deploy my, um, my archers as the beginning of the funnel there. I'm also going to deploy a handful of goblins just to start with the goblin funnel. Once these, uh, defen or these uh, tanks are you know, out of the way there, I'm going to definitely start my goblin knife. So once this uh, storage is down, guys, I will drop my... Oh, there's a giant bomb deploy or pop. That was good. Now let me drop my jump spell. And look at that, guys. We... Oh, my goodness. We have some wizards in the clan castle. Um, that's terrible. But it looks like we have ourselves a goblin knife, guys. So let me deploy my goblins down here just like so. And my king almost died. That was scary. So the goblins are going in now. I've got a heal spell. Let me go and double heal spell. And there you go, guys. We we managed to grab the dark elixir out of the storage. And I've still got wall breakers, my clan castle, and my queen. I just I just didn't think to deploy them. We got a few a huge, and I didn't even have a rage spell. I I just I just didn't get one. So that shows that you don't really have to have a rage spell. But we grabbed the dark elixir storage. We grabbed the town hall, and we saved our clan castle so very nice um let's see is there any uh there are there are some elixir i want to snipe real quick so let me go ahead and drop my queen we'll drop some wall breakers to break her in and we have a single wizard a max wizard look at the brim around the hood guys he is a beast hopefully the queen does not get uh uh scared oh wow that was a ton of damage guys Wow, that was epic. All right, well, the queen is now grabbing us some elixir just to help us with the cost of the army. Um, and uh, she cannot stand one more shot from that mortar. So I'm going to pop her ability now. Yes. Okay, so we survived that. Maybe we'll get that 50%. I, I don't think, I doubt it, but uh, we'll see. No, there's too much damage going on. So let's go ahead and cut out. We saved the clan castle. We didn't have to do that, but we did. Um, and we grabbed all of the dark elixir. We grabbed a lot of elixir. We we actually made profit on our elixir. And of course, all about 150,000 gold was profit. So Guys, that is the Goblin Knife. The meta of the Goblin Knife has not changed much lately, which is actually quite the relief because um, whenever I was learning the Goblin Knife the first time, it was hard for me to get used to. But as soon as you start learning how to look at bases and decide whether they're a good base to hit or not, um, you, you remember what you do. The step, step one, and I'll throw it on the screen. Step one, Giants for Tank. 
Step two, throw down your wall breakers and your king if you'd like, clan castle tanks as well if you want to. Step three, throw down your archers to start your funnel. Step four, use your goblins to set up even a better funnel because truthfully, guys, tanking and funneling is the most important part of the goblin knife. The most important aspect of the goblin knife is your funnel because if you deploy all of your goblins too soon and you notice that little crosshair is going, you know, on a, a collector on the outside of the base or something like that, then you're screwed, guys. So you have to make sure you set up your funnel you know, uh, test the waters with a couple of goblins. Once you see the goblins are going toward that dark elixir storage, then release hell on that base and show it who is boss, guys. So that is going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did, please smack that like button and subscribe to join the Klaus family. And also, if you know any Town Hall 8s or 9s or anybody that is trying to farm Dark Elixir, especially with that Heroes, please share this video with them friends family clan mates whoever i'd greatly appreciate it and i bet they would too but anyway guys again that's all for me i love each and every one of you and i will see you guys again next time uh -huh.